Next guest says that energy security is really national security as the Biden administration tries to buy votes at the gas pump by taking gas from the strategic reserves to try and goose the numbers at the pumps. But it's not working. Prices right now for a gallon of gas, regular and diesel remain right around four and five dollars, respectively. Really depends where you are. If you're in California, a gallon of gas is six bucks. Diesel's eight. If you're uh, in the Northeast, a gallon of gas just under four dollars. Diesel well over five. Don't forget, everything you buy at a store gets there via truck. Uh, those trucks run on diesel, which also explains the high prices. Joining us now for more, member of the Committee on Natural Resources, somebody who knows what he's talking about when it comes to energy, Montana Congressman Matt Rosendale. Great to see you again. Good to be on with you, Rob. Um, good to have you back. 13 days from the midterms. Uh, the Biden administration tried and failed to get gas prices down before the midterms. How big a role does this play on Election Day? It's huge. Uh, everyone in Montana is, typically drives 100 miles a day or more. And I will tell you, when they go to the gas pump, every corner has a big billboard up for the Republican Party. Uh, the gasoline prices, as you just said, are about $4 a gallon. And diesel uh, prices are 5 19 5 20 right in that range. And we drive a lot of miles. There's a lot of country between each uh, town out here. And as also, as you stated very clearly, everything that comes to the store has to be brought there by a truck. So we're seeing higher grocery prices, the fuel prices. And people now coming into the winter months are going to have to start making some serious or decisions about where they're going to spend their weekly paycheck. The paychecks have not kept up pace with the uh, inflation that's going on because, again, of policies that were initiated by the Biden administration. And so they're going to have to figure out, are we going to reduce our grocery spending, our uh, rent, which is uh, at a, a certain rate? Uh, the interest rates have gone up on a lot of folks' mortgages, and it's becoming very challenging. Can I get your reaction to uh, the latest numbers on the cost to uh, heat your home? Montana, certainly a, a state that gets pretty cold uh, in the wintertime. Right now, costs are estimated to go up for home heating oil by 30 uh, percent. Gas is at 28 percent. Even electricity is up 10 percent over it was. This is year over year. So this is what it costs last October. It's going to get worse as we get into the cold months, January, February, March. Um, what do you make of that? How are people in Montana going to deal with that? I'm in the Northeast, and it's a big concern. It's a huge, it's going to play a huge role in how people vote on Election Day. Uh, absolutely it is. People right now know where these policies came from. In the Natural Resource Committee, Rob, uh, the Republicans introduced eight different pieces of legislation to increase our domestic energy production. Um, to, to permit pipelines faster, to get the liquid natural gas facilities that have been on the books for several years now, to get them opened up. And the Biden administration and the Democrats in Congress will not even give us a hearing. So people understand that our domestic production is down. They understand why it's down, and they understand who brought it down. And, and they're going to put Republicans back in control uh, uh, in about two more weeks uh, so that we can start putting these policies forward in January of 23. And Congressman, now, the people, the the people of Montana, be, the people of Montana I understand that? We put that legislation forward. Sorry to cut you off, sir. The people of Montana understand that? For, in other words, if you they go to do. other parts of the country, crime is a huge issue. Um, in Montana, I imagine that's not as big an issue. It's one of the more rural states. Uh, is, is gas and energy prices that number one to Montana voters? Gas and energy prices, I would say, are number one. But I will tell you, Rob, we are also dramatically impacted by this uh, problem at the southern border. I've met with law enforcement agencies over the last couple of weeks because we've been back in district, as you know. And they talk about the fentanyl problem. They talk about the methamphetamine problem. They talk about human trafficking. And it has absolutely impacted uh, Montana as well. The detention centers are full. The courtrooms can't get the uh, people processed through because yeah. of the prosecutors and the public defenders and the judges are all being overloaded. And they know that the origin of all this problem is coming from the southern border. Amazing. But, but that the energy price is something that hits them right in the face every day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just remarkable. Your state makes up the biggest border we have with Canada, and, and your concern is not the northern border. It's the, it's the southern border. Uh, Congressman, good luck to you in 13 days. Hope to see you soon. Thank you so much, Rob. Good to be with you. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.